guys and welcome to a new review today i'm very happy to show you the new nocticon mid-range thrower the dm11 which i purchased at internationaloutdoor.com thanks hank for the fast shipping i choose the osram w1 led which is the less brightest but the longest throwing led we have two spare o-rings in the package and then the dm11 so no manual no accessories simple box as we know it from nocticon it's the first light of them which has no name engraved so that's a bit of a shame i always like if the name is engraved for the rest it is really nicely machined as we know it from Hank. So we have a glass lens that protects the nice tear lens here which is not easy to get out so I will not try it. So please don't try this at home either if you don't want to break your light. Then you can of course unscrew the battery tube Quick look inside of the flashlight, the knurling on the battery tube is really aggressive but I really like it. As you see the threads run really smooth as we know it from Nocticon, we will now insert a battery 21700, it only works with high drain non-protected batteries you have the auxiliary LEDs as you know it which you can program in the Android user interface and then you have different options to choose for the backlight of your side switch you can choose a flat version of the switch. I choose the raised version so you find the switch much easier. And then with a single click you turn it on. Keep the button pressed. It will ramp up. Double click for turbo. And it will ramp down to the lowest mode. Really nice moon mode. So I will not go into any details of the user interface. There are plenty of videos that explain all the different steps. So uh, this will be just overkill uh, for this video. So for the technical specifications, they don't give you much on the website. I will ask Hank about the lens, as I already told you. They uh, indicate it with 120 grams without a battery. The dimensions are 120 millimeters of length, 40 millimeters head diameter and 26.5 diameters on the body. You have four different LED options. You have the Osram W1 with 900 lumen and 150,000 candela of peak beam intensity. You have the Osram W2 with 1300 lumen and 130,000 candela and then as uh, you have the SFT40 with 1800 lumen also 130,000 candela then you have the B35AM with 1400 lumen and only 35,000 candela so as already told, I choose the Osram W1 with the lowest lumen output but the highest throw. And for my throwers I always choose cool white LEDs as I prefer maximum beam distance. So to get a better idea of the size, I have a few different Nocticons here. So here we have the D1 which is the smallest thrower from them. So it's quite a bit smaller 
and uh, in the outdoor beam shots we will have a comparison of the different lights then we have the bigger brother the D1S which is already slightly bigger very deep reflector and then we have the boss the K1 which is much bigger will also produce quite more throw as you can see all those lights have been used and then which I'm really excited about is to compare it to the Sofian EF22A also with a nice optic so I'm really looking forward to compare the two flashlights against each other to see which one of those two will have the longest throw so I will charge up the batteries and then we will go outside and check out what this one can perform in the dark. Well guys, we are outside now with the Emisa DM11. I brought my dog, so if he wanders around, don't mind him. I'm somewhere on a low mode here. I will ramp up, double click to the turbo mode, which I measured with 690 lumen instead of the 900 lumen that I indicated so with throwers it's always difficult to measure exact values as the light is very concentrated but uh, in my eyes it performs really nice. A trash can that you can see at the very back is uh, 150 meters away and it is really nicely enlightened I asked Hank and he uh, gave me the information that it's a 3.8 degree tear lens so it's producing a really narrow beam and a little bit of spill but as you can see the front here is also nicely enlightened so you can still see the dog even if I shine at the back of the alley. I programmed the light so that the auxiliary LEDs will shine in red so in my eyes this is uh, a really nice uh, feature with the auxiliary LEDs so you can uh, keep the night vision if you want to read like I have here my cheat sheet you can read in the dark without losing any night vision so that's pretty cool I will now show you the comparison to the Sofian IF22A with the luminous SFT40 LED so on the right side we have the Nocticon and on the left side we have the Sofian so as you can see the Sofian produces more light has a wider beam but at the very back there's more light coming through with the Nocticon which is pretty normal as it is more of a thrower than the Sofian. So now I'm going to show you the Emisa D1 with the XPL HI in 5000 Candela which is also a pretty nice size thrower so pretty small but still producing a very nice beam but as you can see the spill is much wider and uh, there's less light coming to the end of the alley so here we have the D1 here we have the DM11 so that's pretty obvious which light produces more output so now we have the D1S also with the XPL HI in 5000 Kelvin so here again the DM is clearly the throw king now I'm using the K1 double click for turbo so you can see it's a really nice thrower but again with a lot of spill but this one clearly wins and throws more light at the back but the size comparison shows you that the DM11 is still really really nice for the size so I will switch over now to the open field and then we can do another 
comparison of the lights. So I just switched position. Here I'm in the moon mode with 2.5 lumens, so this one could be a bit less bright, but due to the optics uh, it is pretty difficult to get less output. As you can see, you can already clearly see the spot of the DM11. So, double click for turbo, you can see how nicely the trees are lightened up back there. I will take again the Sofern, double click so you can see that it illuminates much more but less throw. I will now take the D1. Turbo, so again the DM is clearly the winner. D1S in turbo so again much more concentrated beam on the DM11 and last but not least the K1 ultimate thrower from Nocticon as you can see this one still produces more light output but still much bigger size. So overall I'm again very impressed by the newest Nocticon flashlight. As already said in other re reviews I have all of their lights and they always impress me so I wouldn't miss the new lights that they bring out. I really hope this video gave you some clarity about all the different Emisa throwers if there are any questions, feel free to put them in the comment section. And as always, I would really appreciate if you could leave a thumbs up and hit the subscribe button and check out my Instagram page as well. See you soon, guys. Bye-bye.